Hi Aries Sun Moon Ascendant, this is Dane and I'm going to be doing your June 16th to the 30th, 2019, that's 2019 finance and career reading. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel for all your support. You guys are absolutely amazing and I absolutely adore reading for you guys. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all the information is going to be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it is going to be the very first comment in the comment box below. You also have the links to the cards that I use and how to slow down YouTube videos so that you can listen at a speed that is more comfortable for you. So let's see now Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what June 16th to the 30th, 2019 has in store for you for your finance and career. Aries, June 16th to the 30th, 2019, finance and career. Aries, June 16th to the 30th, 2019, finance and career. Aries, June 16th to the 30th, 2019, finance and career. Aries, June 16th to the 30th, 2019, finance and career. Aries, June 16th to the 30th, 2019, finance and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ooh, goodness. Okay, so that's where everything fell. So that's where spirit wants me to stop at the center of everything. Oh, I love it. So for finances and career, I like to see pentacles and I like to see wands. Pentacles for me represent finances, okay? Wealth, something you value as much as money. Pet, pentacles, no, wands. There we go, we're on to wands. Wands represent your career, your passion, the way that you're moving forward. So here you have the Knight of Pentacles. You are slowly and steadily moving towards your goals. You might be a little bit frustrated during the last half of June that you're not moving forward as quickly as you want to, but this is really building a fantastic foundation. So you shouldn't be, don't be frustrated with yourself, Aries. You are getting to where it is that you want to be. Also, this represents an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. This is holding on. Okay, so it's actually saying here you're crowned by holding on to things a bit too tightly, right? Especially when it comes to money. It's saying here kind of let go a little bit. Don't be so anxious about how things are moving forward, all right? If you can, kind of calm down, breathe, center yourself, because this is also wanting to protect your home, yourself, your family. You know, this is really looking at things and you're putting a lot of weight on your shoulders. So it's making you hold on to things really tight and it can actually be causing headaches, stomach pain, foot pain. There's something here that, you know, you're holding on to that can be, that can be quite, it's almost stopping you. It's almost stopping you from moving forward the way that you want to. All right. Now for some of you, if you are sensitive, if you're somebody who really feels the emotions of other people, empathic, this is saying here, you need to make sure that you're guarding your yourself, you're cleansing your chakras, you're guarding yourself as you're moving forward because you're going to be taking on the energy of other people and that's going to kind of throw a monkey wrench in the game as you're moving forward during the last half of June, meaning that you could, again, headaches, stomach pain, foot pain, but not because you're holding on too tightly, but because you're letting everything in, everybody else's emotions in, they are trumping your own emotions. There is something you're walking away from. Now, for some of you, this could be just being frustrated with the way that your career is moving forward. Okay, it is moving forward slowly and steadily, but this could be, you know, wanting to look at things differently, you know, wanting to see new job opportunities being out there. There's something that you're walking away from. It can be a group of people. It can be what you once thought you loved doing. Now you're really starting to question it. There's something that is absolutely coming to an end during the last half of June, and you're worried. You're worried here with the Nine of Swords. I mean, this is doubts and fears. And what's really annoying when I see the Nine of Swords is that other people just don't get it. Other people aren't seeing your worry. They're putting more, you know, on your shoulders. They're putting more on your desk. And they don't see that you've, you've kind of reached a boiling point. You've reached the saturation point And you can't handle any more. So either kind of sit there and tell people, you know what? No, right now, I'm, this is all I can handle, Okay. And for some of you, I know that that sounds like I can't say that, but then it's really making sure you pri prioritize things, okay? And making sure that you put yourself as a priority, Aries, because there's going to be something that happens during the last half of June where you're really feeling just overwhelmed and underappreciated, but you're not actually underappreciated. 
people just see that you can handle it. And they're like, oh, okay, Aries got it. Aries got it. You know, I don't have to worry about it. You know, you're, you're kind of their tried and true. You're slowly and steadily moving forward. They can rely on you. Yeah. But you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Turn inward. You have a Virgo energy right here. This is a time frame of August 23rd to September 22nd. So you might be feeling kind of stressed for a lot of the, a lot of the summer. Okay, a repeat of the number nine, you're coming to a lot of conclusions, okay? This can also be that you're so, you know, focused on work, so focused on what needs to be done, all right, that you're, you're robbing yourself of sleep. You know, you're burning the candle at both ends. Make sure that you take care of yourself because you're going to be going through a transformation. Your passion is guiding you. Oh, I love that you're ending with the page of cups because this is a healing that's coming in and you're feeling set free. This is also, you know, kind of jumping out, kind of, jumping into that ocean, okay, going after what it is that you want. There's something that you want here, Aries, and you're going for it. There you are. Knight of Wands right here. You have knightly energy around you. So this is a go-getting, you know, last half of June, you're going for it. You are a fire sign, Aries. You're represented by the Wands in the Minor Arcana. You're represented by the Emperor in the Major Arcana. But this is also your career. This is your passion. This is you saying, I'm going for it. You might feel kind of like the breath is taken out of you at times because as you go for it, you're going to meet up against obstacles and it's going to feel like they just smash into you at times. I know that sounds funny, but it's, it's something that's going to happen. But the whole world is opening up to you as you're moving forward. And then, okay, and then we have the Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is, you know, not feeling like you can do it. This is doubts and fears. The, the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords, this is all within the mind. Swords, for me, represent the mind. So know that during the last half of June, you, you have to give yourself pep talks. You have to make sure that you're taking time for you. Because here, this is just feeling as if, you know, no, I, I don't want to. I don't want to move forward. You might even, you know, sit there and be like, you might have those days where you really want to call out sick. You know, I, I, I just don't want to go in. I just don't want to do it. Okay? That's because you're overworking yourself. But you are moving forward. So this isn't, this isn't doom and gloom, okay? I know some of you are probably listening to this and thinking, oh my gosh, Dane, thank you so much for this message. It's, it's so not what I needed. But it is you moving forward. It's just saying here, you need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself because you're going to be conquering things and you're going to be moving forward, most likely around this Virgo time period, all right? And now you're kind of getting everything in order. So let's see what your fairy guidance has to say. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aries, June 16th to the 30th, finance and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aries, June 16th to the 30th, finance and career. Ooh, fantastic. These two fell out. So you have expression and you have spirit. So spirit came upside down. And when I have the fairy cards, all right, that means that there's kind of like a little bit of a disconnect. So spirit is opening its arms to you here but because it came upside down you're feeling disconnected and that's going to be something that you need to work on during the last half of june just having that connection because spirit wants you to succeed okay spirit has its arms open to you and saying i love you you know i'm there for you don't forget don't forget that i'm here to help you out you're not you don't have to do this all by yourself aries you don't and that's really the sentiment that i'm getting here from you is that you feel almost kind of like a lone wolf you know you have to do it all yourself you don't you don't show me clearly show me clearly show me clearly aries finance and career june 16th to the 30th 2019 aries finance and career this one right here imagination oh i love it show me clearly show me clearly show me clearly aries finance and career june 16th to the 30th and that one right there cleansing So we're starting with imagination. And this says, imagination intrigues the soul and illuminates the heart. There is something in your mind that's brewing and you're going for it. I mean, that's why we have the knights there. The knights are showing us that you're going for it. Prosperity, all right, finances, okay, with your career, you're going for it. At times you might feel as if these two points are at odds with each other. Okay. You want your career to be heading this way you and your finances are heading this way. You know, you're just sitting there. You're trying to work everything out. And by that, I mean, you don't feel as if you're growing as well as you would like to in June. Okay. I see this as just a, a little bit of time of worry for you. It's not that anything bad is happening. It's just kind of like 
you want to be further along than you are and there's a lot of anxiety that comes up and it can also be around a an earth sign a taurus a virgo a capricorn where you're sitting there and it's especially a virgo actually it's it's going to be more so a virgo here for a lot of you if you're cross watching and you're a virgo this doesn't have to be you this can be somebody at work this can be you know somebody completely different but it's the message that aries has to hear so it has something to do with this virgo energy the color that's shining through here with imagination is purple that's healing and cleansing the crown chakra then we have cleansing okay it says energy cleansing creates a healthy and harmonious space in which to thrive right really cleansing your energy and also boundaries Boundaries when it comes to other people's energy, you might actually find areas that you're highly sensitive to other people's energy and people that you were once able to be around and talk and laugh and everything like that. They could just be sending, sending, yeah, setting your teeth on edge almost. It's like it hurts to be around them sometimes during the last half of June. And that's because for some of you, really seriously, you, you don't have those boundaries. There's something here where the energy is coming in and you're just feeling drained. Okay, protect yourself. Protect yourself. Don't hold on to things too tightly. Okay, but make sure that you have clear boundaries because clear boundaries are really going to be what helps you move forward. And the color that's shining through here is green, healing and cleansing your heart chakra. Very beneficial. Then we have spirit. Spirit is a flow of insight into the into the true self. Okay, so there is something here where you're connecting with your true self and spirit. Just look at that. She has her arms open up to you. She's hugging you. She's like, I'm here for you. And at times, because she came upside down, at times you just don't feel it. So make sure that you're embracing this connection. Okay? Then we have expression. Expression unleashes and empowers your inner creative, creative energy to flow forth. So your inner creative energy is flowing forth. Express it. Express yourself. Okay, don't sit there and think, oh my gosh, they're going to think I'm silly or laugh at me because I, you're going to have some sort of ideas that are really spot on, that are really, really good. Okay, share them with people. Really do. All right. Because you have these worries, these fears here, and this could take up the whole half of June for you. It really can. And you'll miss the universe open up. You'll miss yourself moving forward. You won't see it at the center of everything. The king of pentacles, the king, the knight of pentacles slowly and steadily moving towards your prosperity, towards your abundance. You're reaching your goals. You are. You're just going to doubt it. Don't let that doubt become all of June for you. Okay? This is you going after what it is that you want. This is you seizing the moments. Okay? Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn around you, guiding you forward. You might actually be having a bit of trouble with that earth sign. Or it can be that you're having a bit of trouble for others of you because this is a general reading, so it may very well be different for each and every one of you where, well, it will be different for each and every one of you where you're having a bit of trouble with an earth sign or with the way that things are progressing. Somebody kind of wants more of you than is actually even logical to be able to give. They have unrealistic expectations, okay, because they see as if it, you, they see you as if you got this, you know, you have this all under control. And what they don't know is that it's too much. Okay? Or you're burning the candle at both ends in order to do everything that needs to be done. Four of Pentacles. Holding on to things too tightly. For some of you, you're letting other people's energy really affect you during the last half of June. Okay? Really, seriously, you know, surround yourself with the white light of the universe. Okay? The cleansing light of the universe. It doesn't have to be white. You can be whatever color you want it to be. And mirrors facing outward. Okay, protecting yourself from people's negative energy. Make sure you do the top of your head and the bottom of your feet because a lot of people forget that, right? Also, Epsom salt baths, sitting out in the sun, highly beneficial, highly beneficial. Also, rose oil, very, very good for grounding and for getting away negative energy from you, but really centering you here, okay? So for some of you, that's going to be the case. You need to protect yourself because it's going to affect your finances somehow. It can be that you're just not performing as well because people are draining away your energy. Kind of like emotional vampires, okay? Energy vampires. Just think of it that way. So protect yourself. And even if you're not a sensitive person, you know, you might be having emotional vampires around you in the workplace that are draining you and it's time to walk away from them. Yeah, that's it. You're walking away from emotional vampires. 
that's it. Okay, it has to do within the workplace. It's enough, it's enough. It's time to leave. It's not time to leave your job, but it's time to leave that person. If you're so inclined to start looking for a job, do so. But I'm not telling you to, you know, quit your job and just walk away and not have anything around you. All right. So be smart about things. Make sure it's easier, you know, to get a job once you have a job. So make sure that you, you have that going for you. But you are moving forward towards what it is that you want. You are going towards your goals. Okay. Wisdom is guiding you. You have here healing and you're walking away from something you once thought you would love or somebody who you once felt a connection to. And now you're like, wow, no, I just can't do this. But there's something here where you need to put you first, Aries. And you need to watch out for these emotional vampires at work. It can be, you know, somebody who you just happen to be in contact with one day. But that could be enough to kind of knock you off your game for, for quite some time. Nine of Swords. It's too much. This is saying here, you know, you're not resting properly. You're worried about stuff. You're worried about a lot of things. You're trying to do everything for everyone. And they see you here as that person who moves forward, that beautiful woman on horseback. You know, it doesn't matter your gender or how you identify yourself. It matters here that this is what they see. They see somebody who has it all put together moving forward. And this is just, it's just too much. It's just too much and people aren't seeing it. So know that this will be a point of frustration for you. And this could also be, you know, wanting to get so much done. It doesn't have to be at work. It can be that, you know, home and, and work life, you're trying to balance it all and you want to get everything done and you want everybody to be happy and, you know, everything like that. And then, you know, you're just trying to find that balance and you're having a hard time. Do not forget to take care of yourself, Aries. As you're going after your dreams, as you're accomplishing everything, do not forget about you. Ten of Wands. You're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. This is your passion. This is your creativity. This is what you want. So here you're moving forward. Okay, you're going to be able to put all of this down. But do not take other people's burdens from them. Do not take other per people's, you know, lessons from them and say, oh, don't worry, I'll get this. Because that's actually going to be the exact opposite of what you need to do with the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords says you need clear boundaries. Okay, the Ten of Wands is saying you're taking everything on. And that's at the root of everything. And that could be the, at the root of all the problem. Like, there's just too much that you're taking on. Trying to ease other people's burdens. Trying to ease the load of what everybody else is carrying. But don't forget about you. Remember, you matter, Aries. And this is taking all your passion, all your creativity, everything that you've been carrying with you, and putting it down and saying, okay, how do I cultivate and create what I want? This is using your free time if you have any, and if you don't, you know, this is carving out free time for you to f start following your dreams. Start going after what it is that you want, okay? But do not, don't, because you're going to have a tendency to want to take the negativity from other people or have other people, you know, sucking that joy out of you, those emotional vampires right here, and now everything just feels so much harder as you're moving forward towards your prosperity, towards your success, and they're doing it on purpose. They're doing it, this person is doing it on purpose, most likely a Virgo, is doing it on purpose because they see that you're moving forward. And they see here, like, you're kind of heading in two different directions. At times, your, your creativity is moving you this way, your, your prosperity is moving you this way, and you feel pulled in two different directions. So they see this little bit of weakness and they're exploiting it. Okay. You have the hermit. The hermit is saying turn inward. This hermit is also the Virgo energy, a time frame of August 23rd to September 22nd. You need to turn inward. You need to heal. You need to take care of yourself. Your passion is lighting your way. You have here the serpent. So you're shedding an old skin. Right? And you're moving towards what it is that you desire. The robes of the magician. Remember here, the hermit is astoundingly powerful cuts himself off from the world to connect with nature, to connect with his inner self, to know his truth. And you might need to do that. You might need to take time where you are doing nothing, if you can. And if it's just getting a cup of coffee and sitting in your car, or you know, taking a walk by yourself, just a time where nothing is in your ears, 
you know, no one is talking to you and you get to connect with you, Aries. That's going to be so beneficial as you're moving towards your passion, as you're moving towards what it is that you want. You need to be set free and you need to do that for yourself because again, these are the worn robes as I see them. These are the worn robes of the magician. You've learned so much. The magician stands at the altar. He holds up the wand as above, so below. Here, you use that wand. You use that magic to light your way. It's igniting your passion. Your passion is igniting this wand. It's sending you forward. Use it to guide you. There's something that you know. And even if you don't know, there's something that you're connecting with that's going to move you towards where it is that you want to be. Listen to your inner self. That's why you need to turn things off and connect with you. Even if it's just quiet time in the shower while you're getting ready, you know, for work. No music, no nothing. Just listen to your thoughts. Okay? But there needs to be a time of being unplugged. Then you have the Page of Cups. You're healing. You're healing and you're setting yourself free. That's why that fish is jumping out of the cup. The cup is the Holy Grail. It is said to have held the blood of Christ when he was crucified. It was also said to be used at the Last Supper. Whether that is true or not, the mythology or the religious basis around it doesn't stop. Okay? Or whether you believe in it or not, the imagery still stands. This is healing and this is sacrifice. And you have been protected. Okay, even if you're going to sit there, and I say that and you laugh, and you're like, I have not been protected. This is the divine protecting you. It is. And now you're jumping free. You're jumping out of the cup and into the water, into the ocean, into the chaos of the world. So know that that can be overwhelming at times. But you have this healing love guiding you. You also have a strong water sign presence. And I see this here as this healing moves you forward towards what it is that you want and it opens the world to you okay so that's what I'm seeing we have the knight of wands which is you we have the universe card and then we have the three of swords which I don't like the three of swords I mean seriously if I could take this out of the reading I would for you guys definitely but the knight of wands is saying I'm moving forward I'm going after what it is that I want I have my armor on you're you're jousting okay because that's what the wand is here it's used as a lance so know that when two knights joust towards each other, okay, let's say that he's holding another lance, and they hit each other, that's a tremendous impact. So that's why I say there's an impact of something that's going to kind of take your breath away. And I do believe it's these emotional vampires right here. I do believe that it's these people who are, are trying to kind of knock you down that you need to walk away from and you need to take care of yourself. Okay, don't carry their burdens because they're going to try and put things off on you. Okay, as you go after what it is that you want, the whole world opens up to you. Your limitations, your disabilities, anything that you have defined yourself as a lack starts to fall away. And you start to see that there are endless possibilities open to you. Then we have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is saying that as the world opens up, there's something here that makes you want to close that door and say, I can't. I can't move forward this way. You can, and you are. You are moving forward towards what it is that you want, towards where it is that you want to be. Embrace these emotions, not embracing the sorrow and just staying in sorrow, but this is saying, let yourself feel. Let yourself be angry. Let yourself be sad. You know, I'm not giving you permission to feel, but I'm saying that what the cards are saying is embrace your emotions. Embrace your emotions. So many times we think we have to shove it down. And, oh, no, I can't be sad right now. Oh, I... Everybody else has it so much worse. You know, I can keep on soldiering on. No, Aries. Aries, listen to your heart. Okay? Because in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is a heart with three swords stabbing it. Somebody is breaking your heart. Somebody has hurt you. Don't shake it off. You know, let yourself mourn. Let yourself heal. And know that as you do, the universe opens up to you. And as you've healed, okay, the pain cannot hold you back anymore. It will not be a shackle. A shackle? Yeah. That holds you to the ground. It will not be your bull on chain. Okay? Your finances. Slowly and steadily moving forward. There's somebody who's going to try and kind of knock you off your game when it comes to your finances. Your career. Passion is guiding you. Passion is guiding you. Again, this person right here is seeing for a lot of you, it's a strong Virgo presence. For some of you, it can be a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. 
It very well can be. But I'm seeing a strong Virgo presence here. Okay? This needs to be addressed as you move on. Because you're moving on. The end of June, you're going to be in a completely different place. Your subconscious message, the Six of Cups, healing from the past. Letting go of the pains and the hurts of the past. Knowing that they might be coming up, somebody might be saying something, something might be going on that triggers it, and you're looking and you're like, wow, I thought I had moved past this. It brings up a teacher's voice, a parent's voice, you know, somebody who said that you couldn't. Remember, your world card right here, your universe card. The universe is opening up to you. You're moving forward. This is remembering what it is that you wanted when you were small, before you knew the word, you know, ridiculous, or you can't. Okay, move forward. This is you seizing the moment and saying, I'm going after my dreams. I'm going after what it is that I want. And that's coloring your, your last half of June. There's some sort of, you know what, I'm doing this that you are absolutely embracing and nobody can take it away from you. All right, Aries, I hope this reading has resonated with you. If you've made it all the way to the end, bravo. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you and blessings with you guys always. Bye.